so I'm apologise, apologising for breaking in on the conversations, but you do know that we're here for uh, informal purposes as well as informal purposes. So I'm delighted that you're all here for the, the little celebration we're having tonight. And I think it is nice to acknowledge uh, the presence that they've been. This man is very much with us, as we all know, as if this is, for those of you, there is nobody in this room who does not know who we're talking about and why we're talking about Godfrey Tanner. And I know that there's a, I had a visit today from a graduate from the period of the 80s who's done extremely well with himself and is now a senior man in the public service in Canberra. And he visited the university on his business to do with indigenous issues. But he was delighted to be able to tell the Vice Chancellor that he had been a student and that he had been enrolled in classics and history at the University of Newcastle. And she was quite taken with that. And then he said, and of course, that's where I met Godfrey Tanner. And she said, oh, well, she said something along the lines of, I've heard about him. And he said, you heard about him? He is the university. Not, not he was the university. He is the university, and that is a, a common way we have of thinking and describing Godfrey. So he's here with us tonight, and those of you who haven't seen, that portrait was done by um, the young fellow Michael Legs Wilkinson, who was another student of our university and who decided to do a photograph of Godfrey um, and on a classic Saturday morning and that was gathered at his house outside the South Library, where you know, the discourse and the conversation could range from everything to do with what was happening in the local council, to what was happening in Cyprus, to what was happening in Russia, and to what was happening in the world generally. So you, that was a typical morning, Saturday morning with Godfrey for breakfast, where you were educated in everything that was happening in the world around you. So those little minds of ours, so narrow, so... My mind was thinking about this afternoon we'll be playing a game against Wanderers and will we win? <laughs> he would be raising the bar I mean, to think about the world outside. So he's with us and just for your information, if you can read, if you can see the inscription there, I don't know whether you can see it, but it reads out at Tollens Umero Farmam Que et Fata Nepotum that relates to the last line of Virgil's Aeneid 8, where Virgil is describing the shield that is being presented to the hero, and with that shield he will go on to conquer the enemies and lay the foundations for Rome. And on the shield is depicted the future history of Rome. Aeneas the hero does not know this future history. All he can do is marvel at the incredible descriptions on the shield. And he rejoices though he does not understand it. But those who listened as the poem was read a thousand years later could look back and say, yes, that is the grand and glorious unfolding history of Rome. So when he, in the period, picks up the shield and puts it on his shoulder, the fame and the fate of his ancestors. At, at Tolens Umero, lifting under his shoulders the fame and the fate of his ancestors. That is, looking ahead and saying, I will pick up this shield and I will take the fate and the destiny of my ancestors under my shoulders and create this history. It is a magnificent and glorious way of saying, we look ahead. We have a duty to those who follow us the fame and fate of our ancestors. So it is, a, it is a marvellous thing. And in 1965, Godfrey put the last four words, Farman Quay and Fatinet Hotel, he put them to University Council for consideration as the motto of the new university. And of course, as you can imagine, he was disappointed because at that stage they were in the process of saying the Latin days are gone, the days of a Latin motto we need to have the English. So there's a wonderful story in the portrait and in 
that. So that is the man in whose honour we congregate today. And we come for a specific purpose, that is to celebrate the scholars, the scholar who is to receive the Godfrey Tanner Scholarship Award. I'm really grateful that Judy here, Judy Vijak is here, who was the first scholar to win the, the, the Tanner and has made a tremendous success of her academic life and her career. And Maddie, who's here, who was here last year, stood on this table and toasted, photographed, I think, and I have no doubt that you're making a success of yours. And so all around this room, there are people who are part and parcel of this, if you like, the memory bank of, of Godfrey. And uh, Hugh Gordon turned up tonight to help provide the microphone, the, 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 this gear. And Hugh, part of a magnificent family, Barry and Moira Gordon. Barry was a wonderful academic in economics. His mother, Moira followed. And Hugh is one of a family of eight. <coughs> I've forgotten, I don't know how many are graduates of the University of Newcastle, but probably nearly all of them are graduates. But that's, that's how the connections do reach around this place. And in each of the people that I see here, there's a story. And I would give my right arm to be able to tell that story or to hear the story. But that's what the historians are here for tonight, somehow or other. I also want to thank Tone up the back here, who is part of our, the uh, management of the Shortland Union and of looking after the whole issue of student management. Tone and Susanna Lynch. Susanna is the daughter of Keith Lynch. And Keith Lynch is, oh no, and Susanna is the granddaughter of Alec Forsyth. And now those of you who remember Alec Forsyth, he was another fellow who played a part in this university. So we're grateful that you guys have seen fit to host this in here and to support us and to provide the food. So thank you for that. I also want to acknowledge the man behind the camera here, Johnny Gravio. Over here is Mark Williams. And the three of us were the ones who have been poring over these applications to come up with a, a solution, an answer. When you are faced with somewhere around about 180 applications and you are to select one, that's one hell of a challenge. And to remember that you're doing justice to Godfrey and all of us act independently. And we are thinking as we go through these applications, you know, the, the, the mind of Godfrey Tanner is in the back of the decision, which one would Godfrey really champion? because he was a champion of people who suffered dis uh, disadvantages or challenges and he was in there to help them and you work your way through it. And it was absolutely magnificent that Johnny and Mark and myself actually focused on the young lady over here, this year's winner, Annie Nichols. She is a superb selection, a great candidate, and I have no doubt that Annie is going to continue in the tradition of this one and this one over here and carry the name. So in a sense, the motto, the fame and fate of the descendants, goes to you. And it's nice to add that Annie, her mum's here, and she, too, is a graduate of this university. And even more special, a graduate of the arts faculty. <laughs> so I salute, I think. And where, and Maddie, Maddie's parent mother, I think, was also a graduate too, wasn't she? So there is that continuous link. But it's also wonderful to think so many people who go through so many challenges are actually determined to get to uni and are determined to make a success of uni. And that's what's written in this girl's application. It's what's written in her face and it's what's written in her family. So I'm delighted, Annie, if you could come up here. I'm just going to present you with a simple little folder and a little certificate. And in it is a little booklet about Godfrey that was produced after Godfrey's death. It contains some of the stories that were told by many people afterwards, but I hope it's the first edition. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming.
and look forward to seeing you here. Not in the bar. <laughs> but at you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming this evening. It's great to see so many people here. Uh, special thanks must be made to Bernie and the other colleagues that helped him um, with the selection process. I'm sure there was another 184 worthy applicants and to be selected is a great honour and privilege. And as Bernie said, like, I'd love to be involved in helping um, the Foundation raise more funds for this scholarship as there are so many other people that could be worthy of it as well. Um, so, and to live in Godfrey's name and spirit, yeah, it's just such a privilege and honour. So, and also, a special thanks to my family for coming along. Like, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Mum and my sisters, um, always there encouraging and supporting. And even family and friends, the friends that I've met this year just being out here. It's, it's a wonderful experience and Thank you tonight. It was amazing. So thank you, everyone. Okay, well, look, why don't you... There's, 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 You're the first. There's, there's, a, there's a student in every group. It's the student in you. you. The nice thing is you didn't knock over a full bottle. So, can I ask you, whether you have a drink or not, to raise your glasses, to raise your eyes, to raise your thoughts, and to propose a toast to Godfrey Tanner. To Godfrey Tanner. I think he would be looking down and saying to me, my dear boy, that's the wrong colour. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much, everybody.